Lentils come in a rainbow of colors, from the bluish looking Dupuis lentils down to green and red and even white lentils. But the interesting thing about the red lentils is that their skins have been removed. See here, if you take a brown lentil and you crack open the outer shell, you see that red lentil center starting to shine through. So without their skins, the red lentils are able to cook through more quickly and break down to a creamy consistency that's perfect for soup. And Erin's here to show us how it's done. I am, Julie. Red lentil soup is one of my all-time favorite recipes, and this recipe in particular is super easy. If you've never cooked lentils before, red lentils are the lentils to start with. It's a gateway lentil. <laughs> lentils for beginners. My first lentil. Yeah. <laughs> so let's get started. So right now, I have two tablespoons of melted butter, unsalted. It's over medium heat. We're just going to start by sweating one large onion that has been chopped fine. So I noticed you said sweat, not saute, and I'm guessing you said that on purpose. I did, Julia. We don't want any color on our onions. We just want to soften them. So we're going to add a teaspoon of table salt. The salt is going to extract the moisture from the onions, and it's going to help the onions to soften more quickly, and it's also going to hinder browning. We're just going to let this cook for about five minutes, Julia, until the onions have softened and they start to become translucent. Okay, so those have cooked for about five minutes. Now we're ready to add our spices. So mm -hmm. we were inspired by the North African spice blend. And as you can see in front of me, we have a bunch of different spices. Just a few. And, and there is a method to the madness. So we have a grouping of spicy ingredients, warm ingredients, citrusy, and earthy ingredients. Oh, so right. sort of the combination of flavors, when they meld together, yeah. they make that it North makes African it flavor. It's beautiful, yes. So we're going to start by adding a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. A little heat. Yes. Quarter teaspoon of ground ginger. Oh, a little more heat. More heat. A pinch of cayenne. Clearly more enough. heat. Now we're adding an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, which is very nice and warm. And we're going to add Ooh. three quarters of a teaspoon of coriander. That and earthy, citrusy. Yeah, exactly. And also half a teaspoon of cumin, which is really beautiful. If we cook this for another two minutes, we're just going to let those spices bloom. And that's going to really extract the volatile oils and intensify the flavor. Now, two minutes seems like a long time to bloom spices. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a lot of spices here, and we're actually cooking over medium heat. It's going to go kind of slowly. We just want to draw out those flavors. So next, we're going to add one tablespoon of tomato paste, and we're going to add one clove of minced garlic. We're going to cook this mixture for one minute. What we really want to do here is we want to cook out that tomato paste. So it's going to go from red to brown, intensifying the tomato flavor and just developing an extra richness that's going to give our soup more complexity. Mm -hmm. And I notice you're stirring it a lot. You're making sure that the fond that's starting to build on the yep. bottom of the pan doesn't burn. Exactly. Yep. I'm scraping it up and I want all that tomato paste to really feel that heat and cook out. All right. So now we're moving on to our liquid ingredients. We are using four cups of chicken broth and two cups of water. Now, a lot of recipes call for straight chicken broth, mm -hmm. but we found that it just added too much chickeny flavor and it just dominated the other flavors. So this recipe is easy. You're just mm -hmm. adding stuff to the pot. There's no in or out. It's just add, add, add. Add, add, add. I like this recipe. <laughs> and now we're going to add one and a half cups of red lentils. During our testing, a lot of recipes called for less lentils per liquid, and it was just too thin, so we wanted more body, so we actually increased the amount of lentils so that it was the perfect consistency at the end. Now we're just going to bring this up to a boil, and then we're going to cut it down to a simmer. They're going to cook very quickly, even about 15 minutes, and we actually want them to break down and thicken the soup for us. Mm. Okay, Julia. That smells good. Doesn't it? And look, it thickened nicely. All on its own. All on its own. Those lentils really broke down and did their job. As you can see, the lentils kind of sunk to the bottom and the liquid's at the top. But we really wanted like a homogenous texture from the top to the bottom. So we tried a few different things. Tried putting it in the blender and the food processor, which of course worked. But for such a simple soup, we didn't want to dirty any unnecessary appliances. We also tried boiling it vigorously mm -hmm. and that worked, but we scorched the bottom of the pot. And then we just tried stirring it with a wooden spoon and that worked, but it took a while. So we decided to swap the wooden spoon out with a whisk. You're just going to whisk it smooth. I'm just going to whisk it for 30 seconds. Oh, you can see that just thickened it right up. And that's it. And smoothed it out. How easy was that? Now we're going to season our soup. North Africans, they use a lot of lemon juice. We're going to add two tablespoons of lemon juice. And the lemon juice is really going to take all the spices and just make them pop. I'm going to stir that in. Anything you ever cook, you should always taste before you serve it. Mm. I'm just going to add a pinch. That's all it needs. All right. So I'm going to put a lid. One more thing. We thought that our soup needed a little bit of richness, so mm -hmm. we're going to make a really simple garnish. Like what you got going on here. Yeah. Melted so, butter. Melted butter makes everything better, doesn't it? It does. So there's two <laughs> tablespoons of melted butter. We're going to add one and a half teaspoons of dried mint. Really? Dried mint is like very unusual for us to actually call for in any of our recipes, mm -hmm. but it's very typical to the region. It really lifts the soup. 
And we're gonna add one teaspoon of paprika. Oh, what an interesting combination. Yeah, it's great. You just Ooh. wait, you just wait. <laughs> that kind of looks like you could drizzle it on anything and I'd eat it. And that's it, that's our garnish. That was as simple as can be. I know. That was simpler than the soup. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It's that time. Ooh, what a beautiful color too. Really beautiful. Oh. And it, ju it just makes this dish look so beautiful, even more beautiful than just the soup itself. And we're gonna garnish this with a little bit of fresh cilantro, just like for that fresh herbal note. Wow, so elegant looking. Oh, that's good. Isn't it amazing? Well, the consistency, mm -hmm. it's smooth, but there are just little bits of lentils yeah. in there. And I like that combination of textures. Get that little little kick of heat at the yeah, end. I liked it. Yeah. Well, it really is the spices that really elevate that yeah. red lentil mm -hmm. to a really elegant soup. Nicely done, Erin. This Thank is you. terrific. Thank you. For a fast and easy lentil soup, use red lentils. Build serious flavor in the pot with an onion, a few spices, minced garlic, and tomato paste. Simmer the red lentils in a combination of broth and water for just 15 minutes and finish with lemon juice and a little butter. And there you have it, a terrific recipe for red lentil soup with North African spices. This is amazing. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.